Hi, we're here with Nancy from Budget mm -hmm. Blinds of the Coastal Empire. Nancy, tell me what differentiates uh, your blinds from other blinds? Sure. Well, a little bit of uh, difference of budget blinds to, compared to our competitors. We offer some of the best product selection and some of the best pricing around because we are part of a network of over 1,100 owners across the country, okay. which means we can offer our customers some of the best value and the best, best services out there. Uh, we have a wide array of products from everything from the economy programs all the way to high end. But contrary to our name, we do not just blinds, we do shutters, we do shades, drapery, we do everything that goes in and around the window, including decorative elements. That mm -hmm. is awesome. I've mm -hmm. seen your website. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, tell us about uh, some of the things that people don't know about. Sure. Well, we have a lot of really great resources when it comes to either child safety, but also smart home automation is really hot right now. And so we've got a lot of unique and different products that you can't find anywhere else but at Budget Blinds. If you have children, there's things you need to know about blinds. Catherine here from Budget Blinds in Savannah is going to tell us about child safety. Yes, the move now um, is towards a cordless blind. The industry um, is responding to the number of childhood injuries related to corded blinds. And so there's a, now a federal mandate requiring that window coverings not have cords or blind, uh, cords or strings dangling from them anymore. Uh, so now you, the trend is towards cordless um, or automated shades. So what types of blinds uh, are different than just your, your traditional corded blinds? How, how do they look? Um, they're actually, it's a very clean look. Um, you don't see strings dangling from them. The uh, mechanisms are usually hidden, so you won't notice a change per se, unless you just happen to notice that there aren't cords. Um, but everything is kind of streamlined, so it's a, it's a much better look aesthetically, as well as a safer look for a home. With smart homes being the trend these days, Bob, tell me about how do blinds fit into all this? Well, with blinds, you've got you know lots of different ways you can move them um, in terms of smart homes. Um, I mean, you've got general motorization where you can operate with just a handheld remote. Some people have a wall switch. Um, you know, single button raises all of them or multi-channel remotes. Um, but even more and more, people are getting into automation type things right. where you know they tie in with you know lighting systems. Um, garage door openers are done automated anymore. You've got geofencing. You know, most mm -hmm. people are doing things with voice command, telling Alexa mm -hmm. to do things, Siri to do things. Um, you know, including raising their shades. That is cool. I've noticed that some of the blinds uh, you were showing me earlier, uh, you can use your iPad with, you can get them to raise and lower, you can get the lights to come on. Yeah, absolutely. You can create different scenes. So you have people that, you know, maybe they live in a space where they get a lot of sunlight a certain time of the day, mm. three o'clock every day, they know that, this, that they're going to need the shades down. Maybe they're not home, maybe they're working, maybe they're out of town. They can program a scene for that specific time, they don't even have to think about it. The shades will go up or down. So there's lots of cool things you can do with it. You know, a lot of it's for, for fun factor, but also it's, you know, very practical. You know, the shades are a big part of how we control climate, you know, and, and sunlight right. protection. So they, all those scenes can, you know, can help with that. That's excellent. Now, can people come into your showroom and, and play with them? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we have an iPad set up. We can, you know, we have yeah. Alexa in here. You can use Siri. You can kind of tell them how to, you know, tell them what you want to do and set what scene you want them to go to and do all that stuff.